A 5.0 magnitude earthquake struck the northwest Dominican Republic, near the border with Haiti, at a depth of 12 miles, or 19 kilometers, just west-northwest of Las Matas de Santa Cruz. The quake was felt in the border town of Monte Cristi, all the way south to the capital of Santo Domingo. Minor damage was reported in two schools, and products fell off supermarkets' shelves in the area, while crews were inspecting all schools and municipal buildings in the town. The state of Solala, in the Defar Governorate, and its mountainous areas, witnessed heavy rainfall, which was accompanied by strong winds and high sea waves on the coasts of the state. The amount of rain was reaching up to 110 millimeters, or 4.3 inches in some places, causing floods and traffic disruption on some roads in the state. Due to the intense rains that have fallen in recent days in northern Uruguay, Tacuarembó experienced a series of floods that have affected both its capital city and towns in the department. Officials reported that the rains recorded during the last four days were equivalent to what it usually rains for a month and a half. Many streams overflowed forcing the road's closure in several locations and evacuations in several departments. An unexpected meteorological tsunami hit Cardoso Beach in Laguna, in southern Santa Catarina, causing waves to surge across the coast, dragging several vehicles that were parked on the beach into the sea, and causing damage. This rare phenomenon, called meteorological tsunamis, unlike their seismic counterparts, are a result of changes in atmospheric pressure and weather systems, making them highly unpredictable and challenging to forecast. An instability line, coupled with a drop in atmospheric pressure, moved through the region and created strong wind gusts, triggering the sea to advance onto the coast. Thankfully, there were no injuries. The city of Surakarta, known colloquially as Solo, in central Java province, was hit by a strong storm, with powerful gusts of wind, that damaged at least dozens of homes and businesses, as well as statues on the square in front of Solo City Hall. A number of trees were knocked down, closing roads, and cutting off electricity.
a strong storm caused big material damage in Istanbul's Beyoglu district. Due the strength of the wind, trees were uprooted and fell on the roads and power lines, leading to power outages. The roofs of some buildings were ripped off, and some others suffered partial damage. An employee of a car service ended up in a hospital, after being injured by a glass panel, that was ripped out by a strong wind. A small fishing town Grindavik, on Iceland's southwestern peninsula of Reykjanes, was evacuated, after thousands of earthquakes struck the area in recent days, including two over magnitude 5.0, and 13 at, or above 4.5. Eruption expected by experts has already ripped the whole landscape apart, with houses being split apart, and sinkholes appearing around the town. Much of the damage has been caused by a subterranean corridor of magma, or semi-molten rock, which has spread underneath the town itself, causing the land above it to shift, creating huge cracks and craters. Europe's tallest and most active volcano Mount Etna, roared into action after months of calm, spewing glowing lava and ash high over the Mediterranean island of Sicily. A thick cloud as high as 4,500 meters, or 14,760 feet of magmatic gases, molten rock and ash particles, could be seen over the volcano at night. Ash rain fell on several towns in the area, however there was no major damage, and the island's Catania airport, continued to operate. An out-of-control wind-driven blaze, broke out at Dolphin Sands, a small community on Tasmania's east coast, leading to an emergency warning, that was telling to people in the area to leave immediately. 24 residents and a police officer were stranded by the fire on the nearby beach overnight, and were saved in the morning. The fire was about 224 hectares, and had burned two houses, two sheds, a vehicle, power lines and fences, with more structures likely to have been affected. The intense rains recorded in the state of Zacatecas caused an increase in the flow of rivers and streams in at least eight municipalities, as well as flooding of homes in urban and rural areas. Civil protection reports that there are damaged homes, one of which collapsed, as well as fallen trees and stranded vehicles. Heavy rainfall also occurred in the municipality of Villa de Ramos, of the neighboring state of San Luis Potosí, which led to the closure of roads, flooded houses, and damage to infrastructure.
The flood situation in the Pas de Calais department remains worrying, after 10 days of bad weather, and it worsened by new intense precipitation. About 10,000 people have been affected by the floods in 270 municipalities so far, where schools and nurseries remain closed. Four minor injuries were reported in the department, while rail traffic is interrupted, and around 60 roads remain cut. Hello my dear friends, I would like to say thank you to these stunning patrons, Jacob Sergisian, Michael Joseph Wilhelm, Dave and Alana, and web designer. Also a separate thank you to Leslie Sales for being so much supportive. Thanks a million to all of you guys. <laughs>